before him. Such as trying to. Too many amps. Or is it the switch that's actually bad? I don't know, but we're gonna do a lot. So I'm plug this. I think we might have a bad switch. But I'm gonna go pull that other switch out just to be sure. Just this guy. Unplug a couple things. Couple screws on the bottom. Put that to the side. Unplug this. <laughs> Let's put you back. Still gotta run and grab that switch, but at least this part will be done. Okay, we got power. Close this up. Okay. And I guess we don't have to do that. Let's, so yeah, 54 degrees. Uh, we know some of it works, so that's good. And all the systems essentially are working. Okay. Air E my ass. Flip it off. Put that on. No errors. Okay. We're gonna watch that. It's at 52 right now. Ideally, we could get it at like 40 before we leave. All right, we're about 46 degrees in there. I don't know if it's ambient or if it's actually cooling, but um, it seems to be working. So one thing we can check is we can actually look inside it has a thermostat and we can hit this button f1 it says 44 so 44 degrees inside i mean it seems pretty cool so we'll just leave it and see if it shuts itself off again if it does i don't know what we're gonna do but we'll figure it out when we get there